In today's Tuesday tutorials, I'll be showing you a few tips for painting dog ears using watercolor. Let's start! I'm going to start by kind of outlining with a dark brown. Uh, then I'm going to be dropping in some of these lighter colors in the center. I'm going to be using a magenta here from the inside um, and using a golden brown on the outside here. And then before it dries, but but still while it's slightly wet, I'm going to be dropping in some of these uh, darker colors with the lunar black. And I'm gonna be doing the same thing on the right side. So let's start. Okay, I'm starting with the darker brown. My goal is just to get some color down on the paper. I'm leaving the lighter areas open for the magenta. I am working quite wet. And I'm outlining, kind of doing a little bit of negative painting in here where the fur is coming. And I'm working fairly quickly, trying to keep all of my segments wet so I can drop in some paint. And I'm only going to come to here. I'm not going to do any other section. So now that I have some of the black, or the dark brown, I'm gonna come in with some of the lighter colors. I'm gonna come in with more of a lighter yellow here in the corner. I do want my colors to mix at some point. So I am going to kind of bring it all the way to the edge. Then I'm gonna come in with a magenta in the center here. I'm pretty using quite a lot of water here and I am going to bring it all the way to the edges except for I notice that there's some lighter whites that are shining through here. So I'm going to leave some of the whites, come around And I'm just going to use some water to spread out my color. There are some whites in this area and this area. And I'm going to use a little bit more deeper pigment in order to add some of the deeper colors now. Now that I have some of the lighter in and then once I add some of the deep pigments I'm just going to use a dry brush to move the paint where I want it. I'm also going to add a few deeper pigments to this area here. And now I'm ready for my lunar black. Now it has been drying a little bit, so I'm gonna re-wet. And now I'm gonna come in with a lunar black. Now my lunar black is not, it is watered down. It's not completely wet, or it's not completely pigment. It is watered down. And with this lunar black, I'm going to come in and mimic some of the hairs. I'm starting with kind of a lighter shade and then I'm gonna come back in and add darker, drop in darker pigment. But right now, I just wanna make sure that I'm focusing on, on getting the pigment where it needs to go first. 
And I also want to let it dry slightly before I drop in the darker colors. I notice that there's some darker in the shading here. You'll notice that I am working pretty quickly to get the paint down and to be able to move it around before it dries. All right, now before I add any darker pigment, I'm going to just use a dry brush, not completely dry, but cleaned off brush in order to kind of soften some of these hairs here in the middle. Some of the areas that I notice that are too hard. All right, now that I've finished with that, now I'm gonna come in with a little bit more of a deep lunar black, a darker color. Now, if you notice my paint is, or my painting is still, that these areas are still wet. That's important because then I'm not going to get a very, um, a very, uniform line. My lines are going to blend and I'm not going to get this dark um, line in my painting. So what I'm doing is I'm just using some pure lunar black, dropping it in, in wet on wet technique. I'm not looking at individual hairs yet at this point. I'm only looking at where are my darkest shades. And of course, I need to make sure that I'm going in the same direction as the hairs. Now that I've done that, now I'm gonna come back in with a clean brush, slightly damp brush, and I'm gonna make sure that if there's any places that I need that look like the lines are too stiff, I'm going to soften those edges. But I think I'm pretty happy with that for now. I think maybe I'll just add a little bit more of the magenta color in here. Seems like it got a little bit diluted. And a little bit of this, I'm gonna pull a little bit of the lunar black into this area. Not a lot, just enough to give it a little bit of a shadow. Now the fun part of doing the watercolor marker underneath, I'm not sure if you can tell with the camera, but I, I usually will not keep my lines super uh, clean and I'll leave some of this purple shining through. You notice there's a little purple here, there's some purple here, there's some purple here. And what that does is that it gives the darker areas of the fur a lot more depth and um, it doesn't, it gives it a lot more shade. So I'm going to now, I'm going to do the same exact thing on the other ear. Join me next week as we look at how to paint fur using watercolor.